and I'm gonna do one of my five ingredient recipes that I'm doing two different ways today. One for meat eaters and one for meat freers. So this is a recipe that's delicious and I kind of split it into two five ingredient recipes. So you can either make the same dish with roasted pumpkin or butternut squash for vegetarian or with ground Italian sweet sausage if you like meat. This is a brown butter pasta and I'll walk you through the five ingredients for each of the two pastas, but I'm babysitting the butter over here. When you make brown butter, the trick is to not burn the butter. You're browning the milk solids in the butter until they're nutty and fragrant. So you're looking for a deep caramel color, but you don't want it to be blackened. And at the same time, as soon as the bubble as soon as the bubbles start when the butter melts, you add sage leaves. Brown butter and sage sauce is what you're making here, essentially. So you put in large sage leaves when the butter first bubbles. As it begins to brown, the sage leaves get crispy. You pull them out. That's what we've got here. These guys are just hanging out, getting nice and crispy as they cool. In each of these two pans, for one pound of pasta, I have six tablespoons of butter. That's the whole sauce we're making for this, is brown butter with sage, brown butter with sage and garlic if you're me. So in this pan, we're crumbling up some Italian sweet sausage with fennel seed. In our pasta uh, pots over here, for every one pound of pasta, you need at least six quarts of water. You bring that to a rapid boil, and then you add salt, a good amount of salt. This one has a whole grain or farro pasta for our vegetarian version. This one up front has ziti with lines, a nice macaroni. This butter is now beautifully brown, so I'm gonna remove my crushed garlic. It's done its job. And now our brown butters are both done and waiting. For your pumpkin, you can toast the seeds separately, give them a rinse, drizzle the uh, cut squash, either pumpkin or butternut, with a little olive oil. Salt and pepper, throw it in the fridge. Uh, throw it in the fridge, throw it in the oven. <laughs> it's a lot of, to keep, to keep track of the two of the five minutes. Now before you toss any pasta, you take the starchy, salty cooking water just before you drain it. Drain the pasta again, shy. We started this one one minute before that one, so he's gonna go first. Drain off your whole wheat or whole grain or farro pasta. Put it back in the hot pot. Then you're going to add your starchy cooking water. That's the magic liquid that marries everybody together. And we're gonna bring it down here. And we're going to add our fresh ricotta cheese. And we're going to add, this butter was done first, our brown butter. And we're going to add some of our sage and our grated cheese. <laughs> this one we went with sheep's milk. So this is pecorino, sheep's milk ricotta, all of that beautiful brown butter. And then white or black pepper, whichever you prefer. Lovely. Little bit of that fresh grated nutmeg. And bonus, if you use pumpkin, you get to toast up the pumpkin seeds while you're roasting up the pumpkin itself. He's still a little warm. Let's get all of our pumpkin in there. All right. Get this guy together. Oh. <laughs> Woo! One. Sage leaves. Bowl number one. Okay. That was so much fun. Let's just do that all over again, shall we? Right on down the assembly line. Cow's milk ricotta. Start your stirring process. Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. And sweet sauce. Let's get beautiful dish number two. I know, I know, I know. I'm so excited too. Oh, come on.